has a word for Historic Garden Week, and we'll see some needlework things that you can buy if you are the needleworker. But right now, Jim and Brenda are going to tell us how we can know a little bit about ourselves through handwriting. Jim? That's right. I am afraid to ride the bus, incidentally, but it has nothing to do with self-defense. <laughs> Brenda Bradshaw is with us, as usual, on this Friday. Last week, uh, we were talking about... President Reagan's handwriting and the difference before and after the assassination. Today we're going to get back to our letters. Right, back to E. Talk we're about E. e. Mm -hmm. And you tell me that uh, you're going to test my psychic ability today. I'm going to make you psychic this morning. Okay. I'm not going to test you. Is it, is it a shot? Did I? Yes, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> See how my handwriting no, I'm, after yes, that. I'm going to shoot you with some psychic. I'm going to make you more aware. Okay. And that's what psychic is, being more aware. Awareness training. Awareness training. Okay. Uh, first now, uh, the letter E is the home and the environment. Okay. All right. Now you mean physically your house, not physically necessarily your Physically your house your and your home. surroundings, okay. yes. If the person doesn't live in a house or a home or a, an apartment, apartment or a condominium, if they live in a trailer, it's going to show that. If they live in a boat, it's going to show that. Or a tent. Or a tent. Okay. Yes, it's going to show all those different things. Okay, let's um, talk about what we're looking for. What we're going to look for is our first steps, our five basic steps. Remember when we first started, we started with our five basic steps. And the five basic steps are our slant, our shape, the loops, and the openness in a letter, and the breaks. You remember all those steps. I remember. Now, let's take this, these steps and compare them with the letter E's that we're going to look at. Okay. Now, the slant of the letter E tells the direction of the living quarters as you walk through the front door. You mean if everything was off to one That's side, exactly it would right. slant to the right. Right. Okay. Exactly. Got that one now. I remember that one because that's the way my apartment is. That's right. We okay. have that one. Now, the shape tells you the style okay. of the house and also the size, the largeness or the smallness. If it's a big E, it would be a large house. A large small house. E would be. This morning I just bought an example of houses. You will not okay. be looking for apartments or condominiums. Okay. okay. It also can tell you something unusual, the shape. There's an unusual if, shape or something. Right, if yeah. it changes. Mm -hmm. it, you know, your normal E is just rounded. If it's going to have some kind of change hooked onto it, the bottom or top or side, you look at that unusualness, and that will tell you. Okay. Ah, look right, at that first, my first one. First D. Yeah, there's his first I, one. Can I see my E again? Yes, since we got to the shape, you can, uh, you okay. can go on. Now what this looks kind of house is that? Okay, that looks like just just a normal house to me, with exception right. of the thing. It looks exception like it would have the thing on the bottom. It would look like it had a river or a path or something down That's in front of it. Correct. You have become psychic. What wow. kind of house lives on a river or or boat what? House? That's exactly it's a boat right. House. This is a houseboat that I had gotten at one of my lectures, and the uh, the husband and wife both made their e like this. They had no idea they were doing this, and this is a houseboat. That is an unusual e. Isn't that unusual? Okay. Now the loops in a letter mm -hmm. tell you that the person is satisfied but it also tells you that that person has made improvements in the house mm -hmm. different types of improvements and if you look real close at a loop you can see a personal belonging such as a chair we had a Mr. Foley on one time now you're popping me with this right now this is a house okay it has an unusual loop at the top but let's not look at the top let's look at that bottom long span line and what kind of house or maybe the location can give you some kind of clue to that house. I would say it was a split level built into a hill. Maybe. That's exactly right. It's a house on a hill. Okay. Oh, I was going to say maybe a morning. small basement downstairs. Right. Something. That's exactly right. And I have seen this done many times. All right. The, well, yeah. uh, another one, uh, there's two more things. The oh, open places. The open places in a uh, in the letter E, mm -hmm. can show you windows and doorways, because they're open, and you can see if a doorway has been removed, or a window. Okay, we're about out of time, Brenda, okay. but let's get to this E. All right, we just saw. E. That, was, that was a weird loop on the bottom. Uh, well, it's going looks like steps? Steps, okay. going up. How about that one? Uh, split level. Look at the long front on it. What is it? It's a mobile home. I don't know. So ranch. <laughs> it's a ranch. Ranch it's, with okay. the long front. Brenda, thanks so much. Tomorrow we with. have F. I mean, F, next week. Next week, F. F. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, gosh, I'm psychic now. Yes, I don't know what to do. If psychic. you want more information on uh, <laughs> on stuff like this, you can call Brenda. 737-3973 is the number. Cindy?
wonder if, if I drew my E that you could tell that the wallpaper job wasn't finished in the upstairs hall. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Well, anyway, I'll talk to Brenda later. Uh, coming up on Good Morning Virginia, we've been showing you